Yo, we got that week three matchup. We got the 49ers. We got the Chiefs. Man, who y'all got winning? Break down this fantasy lineup or who you should put in in your fantasy lineups. <laughs> but anyway, honestly, y'all think Jimmy G is probably going to have a good game this matchup. This game, I think he's going to have his breakout game. He's going against the number 32 Defense, they are trash this year. They are terrible. Their best defender is Kendall Fuller. Like, they are terrible this year. I don't even know what to tell you. Jimmy G is number 25. He ranked number 25. He has three touchdowns, three interceptions. He had nine points the first week. He had 16 points last week. It should be his week to turn up. If you got him, put him in your lineups. I don't care if it's a 12-man, 10-man, 16, 14-man lineup. I think he's going to have a great week this week. Man, Matt Bereda is the leading NFL rusher. He only has one TD, though. He had 6.1 on his first first week, and he had 25 points last week. Alpha Morris is sharing the production with him. He's... It's pretty much Matt Burita. So if you got Alpha Morris, put him on your bench. He's doing his thing. Marquise Goodwin, man, I dropped him on my roster. I dropped him on one of my teams. I can't even lie. Like, I had to get rid of him. I need a production now. My man Marquise Goodwin. I don't know. He's an injury prone, man. Like, he's going to have some good games, and he probably is going to have a lot of games when he's out with injuries. So he's a track star also, like the third Fastest player in the NFL. I just wish he stayed healthy. Like, if you got him, he should be on stash on your deep, on your deeper part of your bench. But he shouldn't even be starting until at least week six, to be honest with you. Pierre Garçon should be starting in all lineups this week. I don't care what's going on. Pierre Garçon, I think he's going to have another good game. He had 9.7 last week. First week was real sketchy, but it is what it is. That tight end situation, I can't even tell you who is what. Like, I can't. It's it's real sherry. It's real sherry. Garrett Selick, you got um, George Kittle also. They really, like, sharing the production, honestly. So I really couldn't tell you exactly who should have the start. If I was in the 16-man league, I'd start both of them, to be honest with you. If I was in a 12-man league, I would start with George Kittle. Like, he is he is the one, I guess. As far as the Chiefs is concerned, man, my man Pat Mahomes. Man, it's like somebody turned his player stats all the way up to 99 on Madden. He is bombing them, boy. <laughs> he is bombing them. He already got 500 yards in two games, 10 touchdowns in two games. Averaging already 30, like, two points in two games. He is on fire in two games. Killed the fucking Steelers last week. Kareem Hunt, he ain't really have to do nothing. Like, he doesn't really have to do nothing. When you got two fast receivers and you got an all-star tight end and they just scoring all day long, like, your production value is going to go down. So... It is what it is. Like, if you got Kareem Hunt, he should be a flex player, uh, flex player or uh, running back number two. I wouldn't put him in. That's why I wasn't really high on him in this draft. Like, I already knew what type of team they was. They a fast-paced team. Like, they going to kill people with speed this year. Travis Kelsey, he's number four. Man, Travis Kelsey, he had a great game last week, the first week. He let me down. I put him on my bench last week. Put Jared Cook in last week. You know what I mean? Ah, Kelsey burnt me last week. I tell you that much. Sammy Watkins, he had a great game last week also. Had 20 points. Man, Tyreek Hill is the number two receiver in fantasy right behind Michael Thomas. Yo, man, three touchdowns, 250 yards. I take it. I take it all day. As I said, their defense is ranked number 32. They are trash. Do not put them on your lineup. If you want to lose and you purposely want to lose, just go ahead. Add them. Add them. Add them. (laughs) But anyway, on this matchup, y'all already know. Chiefs are going to win this matchup. 
think Chiefs are just fast paced right now. They on a fast paced movement. The 49ers, Marquise Goodwin, like if if they had Marquise Goodwin, I'd be like, yo, this might be a great matchup. But Marquise Goodwin is dealing with injury. He still might be out. He still he might come back, but at the same time, I don't still don't even think it's gonna be a close matchup. I think the Chiefs are gonna win by at least twenty one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you are ready.